Hey everyone, this is my canine son named Oreo, and he doesn't woof, he arps. <laughs> so in this particular exercise and, and drill, we're going to talk about the address resolution protocol, also known as ARP. Well, what ARP does is it resolves MAC addresses to IP addresses. MAC addresses, a media access control address, is a layer two address that is burned into the NIC when it's manufactured. So it's kind of like a social security number for a computer, right? It's not designed to change. I, I realize there are hacks out there. I don't, recomm I don't recommend you change the MAC address of a device. And if you are doing that, you're probably not doing something that's uh, all that honorable, right? So um, let's go ahead and take a look at how ARP works. Flip over to simulation mode, and this is the topology I've been using. So if you don't have yours set up, go ahead and set it up from scratch and set up a IP address on both PCs. So I've got my filter set to ARP and ICMP. You can do the same or just have ARP. Um, one thing you, that's really cool about Packet Tracer, you can also power cycle all the devices in a topology at the same time by clicking that button right here. So I'm going to hit yes. They're going to power cycle. Remember, because this is simulation mode, I have to continue through the process. And let me go and put a, a K9 Sun down here and uh, skip through it, right? So you notice that generates a message. Could that be ICMP? No, I don't remember pinging, right? Not in this particular exercise. So go ahead and look at that packet or that PDU, and you'll notice that this is a gratuitous ARP. The destination isn't a specific IP address like you saw last time, right? Gratuitous ARP, and I know it's kind of a funny word. It sounds kind of bougie. It's like gratuitous, right? So, uh, in, but look, this is what really matters is look in the header. Layer two header, um, is a MAC address. Um, the MAC address is hexadecimal. So you see letters and numbers. The destination is all Fs. No, that's not someone's report card. That is, uh, that is a broadcast address, also considered a layer two broadcast because it's all Fs is, is broadcast. So um, let's keep moving forward on this and see what happens. So I'm going to skip ahead and you'll notice that that gratuitous ARP uh, sending uh, the message to the switch. It's going to try to discover um, other devices on the network and populate its own, and when I say it, I mean the PC, its own ARP table or ARP cache, right? So flip over to real-time mode, and we'll see how this convergence hasn't quite finished yet. So fast forward time, remember, we don't want to end up like Adam Sandler, but in Packet Tracer, it's really awesome. So we'll go ahead and open up the, the PC, go to command prompt, and let's try to see if there is an ARP table that's been populated, notice I did that prior to this, no ARP entries, right? And remember, I, I power cycled, so my cache is, is empty, right? So we can do ping 192.168.0.11. Let's see if after this ping, we can see uh, uh, an entry in our ARP cache, right? ARP-A. Cool, right? So it populated the table with the IP address of the device we were pinging and the MAC address. So that's really how ARP works. It's used to discover the MAC addresses of devices on the network. Uh, without its MAC address, you know, it won't even be able to ping. This is how Ethernet works. And, and you know, Ethernet is a family of networking technologies where ARP is just one of those technologies that's used in the background regardless of the task you're doing.